Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and I'm going to show you some stock today. You know my name guys, it's this, Princess. This one's happy. Anyway, um, I couldn't film yesterday, um, I took my camera with me and I left a bloody memory card in my laptop so it wouldn't record. Anyway, I went up to um, Abergavenny Flea Market for a day out, um, hand out leaflets to the trade up there that normally buy off me and do a bit of buying. And I've had a really good day buying. Um, I'm going to show you the pieces I bought now in just a minute. Um, but before I do, I just want to give a big shout out to somebody. So, big shout out to Martin Adaway. He took the time uh, this week to uh, come up and see me in the shop. And I'm going to splice a photo in um, about now. So. There you go. <laughs> Hopefully I'll remember to splice that uh -huh. in later. Um, no, it was nice. Uh, we had a bit of a chat and I, he, he had a look around the shop, um, spent a bit of time, yeah, and left with a nice Ferrari Testarossa. Not a real one, unfortunately. I'm sorry, buddy. Um, so, yeah, thank you for him for popping in. Um, and I put his picture in the film because he said his wife won't believe it. He, uh, he'd been. <laughs> so, yes, love, he has been. So, um, before I get to showing you the stock, I've had some printouts made um, and laminated to go above the uh, shop window. Um, and I'll show you them in just a minute. Uh, basically advertising my YouTube channel, my Facebook and my phone number. And I got some amazing stock to show you. Now, I've already sold one of the pieces. Um, one of my friends up there had a solid silver money clip uh, with a... Volkswagen, a VW emblem um, on the front, and I bought that in. Um, didn't get to the shop, unfortunately. I have got a photograph of it, but I've sold it already. And apparently, he's going to try and splice it into the film. You know, you're not going to see it. I will splice it in at the end. At the end of the film, you'll see that VW money clip. It was beautiful, but I've had a gentleman come in the shop, and he has made it plain and simple to me. Anything motor related, VW related, or Porsche and that, he wants me to text him before I put it on the shelf. I text him last night when I got back from Abergavenny. He came in first thing this morning, and of course he's bought it. So you haven't had a chance to see it. I've uh, sold it before I made the film, but I will splice it in. Um, other than that, everything's going really well. Um, snow's forecast this weekend. I was hoping to go to the car. Oh, I'm not allowed to be happy about snow. I was hoping to go to the car boot on Sunday, um, but we don't know how that's going to fare yet. So we'll see, fingers crossed. But at the same time, Malvin's on Sunday. I won't be there, guys. If any of you were going, I wish you good luck, all the best in the world. Um, buy something really nice and send me a picture. Yeah, other than that, I'll get to we're it. We're going to be singing in we guys, like the snow is falling oh, all talk around. Talking about singing. Um, I dressed up the other day uh, for the Cannon Valley uh, film and to say I was disappointed was the least, but it's my own fault. I am tongue deaf. I can send you the picture and you can add it on the film. No, you're alright. Yeah. I am literally tongue I deaf. I love picture. So they come in and where they spend, you know, 10, 20, 30 seconds panning other shops or uh, filming people singing, they cut me down to one line because I'm tongue deaf. <laughs> so, oh well. But I'm still in the uh, credits and in the announcements, so I'll still have the advertising, but... Um, oh, he's not that bad. I was a little disappointed they cut me he out. Was of the film. Well, they didn't cut me, but they cut my lines down. But I am tongue deaf, so... But you've heard me sing before, guys. You know how bad I am. But the thing is, the difference is, right, if I was young, I would have been dancing around the shop and I would have look over there. <laughs> but she wasn't. No, I would But I wouldn't have been allowed in the video anyway. Really? Do you want to say that with a straight face? I mean it. No. Right. Hey guys, I still got my top. I'm going to show you the signs on top of the um, shop window now, guys, and then I'm going to show you my stock. So. And I'm going to go and get some food. I'm really hungry. See you in a minute. Bye. Okay, guys, so there we go. Antiques Arena. Uh, YouTube.com Antiques Arena on that one. We've got these ones here then. we got Antiques Arena with my phone numbers. Are there? And I've got Facebook Antiques Arena. I couldn't give the website with Facebook purely because it was a nightmare. 
I swear to God, I'm just buttoning my cardigan up wrong. Honest to God, like. I'm stood here, I go right to the top, I'm going button left. There you go, um, that's the um, signs that I've put above the windows. You can see I've given them my mobile number and the shop phone number. And any of you who want the shop phone number, keep that. Because if you're ever coming, give a ring and let me know and I'll make sure I'm you. And hopefully Sandra will be able to come down and meet you. Well, if you actually told me that people were popping in the shops, you guys, I'd actually come down and say, hello, I only live up the road. The problem is, I detect her when people arrive, but by the time she gets down here and reads a text, right, because somebody has her phone on silent all the time. By the time she reads the text, people have already left. So if you phone me, I can text her in advance. And but we he will also both has my telephone number for the house, so that's not an excuse. <laughs> we will both try and be here. If you want to phone or text and just say you're popping in and you want to meet us both, we will try and be here for you. Um, hopefully uh, you like the signs. They're only homemade signs, guys. It's nothing special, but it does give the information I want. It gives them the link to my YouTube channel. It gives them, tells them I'm on Facebook, Antiques Arena, and it gives them my phone numbers. What more do I need? Me. Um, he so needs me, next he... now I'm going to show you my stock buying from yesterday guys. Um, Arts and Crafts Claret Jug guys. I have found the exact piece um, in solid silver by Hucken and Heath attributed to Dr Christopher Dresser. Now this example is silver plate by James Dixon's but the shape is exactly the same so when I sell it I'm still going to put in the manner of or very similar design to Dr. Christopher Dresser. It's a real nice quality piece. Beautiful condition and absolutely stunning. Now I paid a tenner for this. Full set of stamps in here. It's not a hallmark unfortunately but it is the um, James Dixon of the period. And what can I say? It is spectacular. Now, I found a couple of these in silver. They're selling for 600 and 700 uh, in plate. I don't know, 100 pound? We'll find out. I'll put it up for sale and see what offers I get, but I am going to attribute it to the design to Dr. Dresser. Um, but it is a beautiful quality piece, either way, for a tenner over the moon. Next piece I got here, guys, is a starter's cannon, a live fire cannon. You unscrew these here, these little pieces here on the back put your gunpowder your plunger whatever in and we have a genuine live fire cannon um, couldn't go online because this does actually fire so a little almost starting pistol or starting cannon whichever you want so what can I say I love it now I bought this for 30 pound yesterday in Abgaveni now all the examples of this I'm finding online range from 100 to 300 so I'm thinking about 125, 145 for a starter's cannon. These literally, they unscrew to put in your fuse. I can do it. Bear with me. I can't do it one-handed. <laughs> On my left hand. I'll just undo this one, show you. They come off, in with the fuse, and kaboom. So. <clears throat> Something different for the shop. Don't know if I need a gun license to actually sell that, but hey-ho. Um, here we have the most beautiful piece of solid silver. Fully hallmarked. It's full si I don't know why this camera isn't focusing now. So a full set of hallmarks. Fully engraved London Bridge. Let me stop. So there we have it, guys. I don't know if you can see that engraving there. London Bridge. And full set of Birmingham Hallmarks there. What a beautiful, beautiful box. Lovely condition to it. Real nice tight close. Beautiful. Solid silver. Now I paid £45 for this. But I can assure you this is going up for one and a half. £145 with a London Bridge engraving. Absolutely love it. Next year we have an early, this has got to be 19th century, engraved sphinx. But this sphinx is a scribe's inkwell. So you lift the top up and you'd have a little resin there for the ink. So that you'd have scribes and that would be basically the people that have done their calligraphy and the writing. This is a scribe's inkwell, it's really decorative. 
Now I've seen these before inlaid with gold, inlaid with silver. This is quite a plain example for what it is, but still a nice example. I paid two pound for that, guys. Two pound. Little hole in the head there, wow, don't care. And it's thinned in a couple of places and got the odd little pin all. But I absolutely love it. That's gonna go for probably 30 pound, no problem at all. We got a few stiff teddy bears, guys. Is uh, the first. I paid 20 pound for three stiff. It's the second, a little hedgehog. And we have a squirrel. All got their buttons and their tags, all in good condition. They're gonna go out 18, 20 pound each. This piece here, I'm a little more confused on what it is. Um, looks Indian with all the brass elephants and that. It's, I don't know whether this is just a decorative ball with brass plaques on it or what. Um, quite a few elephants on this. What I'm going to do is get a little stand to put it on and then that's going to go up for 30 or 40 quid. Maybe a bit cheaper, but we'll see. I'll try my luck because I ain't 100% what it is. Next piece, guys. Really nice. I'm not sure if it's amber or glass or what. Now, it's a lot of filigree work. It isn't the best of quality soldering in the world. And it's got a scorpion inside. So it's probably a bit of fake amber. But I actually paid £20 for that one. I rated it and I like it. That's just some of the stock I had, guys. As you can see, it's some really nice pieces. Love that solid silver um, snuff box with the London Bridge engraved on the top of it. Um, if you're coming out here, bring it with you. At least show them what they're missing. No. Oh, no. I got my food. Um, Do you want to have a look, guys? Yeah. The Stife Teddy Bears. Love them. Uh, that Claret Jug. I have found the exact one, guys, by Hacken and Heath attributed to Christopher Dresser. Um, and they sold it for high hundreds. I haven't found a silver plate one yet. Oh. I'll be honest with you. What you drop out now? Gravy, chips and scrumps. Scrumps, mm -hmm. guys, over here are what we call all the leftover bits of batter after they've cooked the fish and they scoop it all out and chuck it in and they chuck it in my chips for you if you ask them. That's what we that's what we call scrumps. And it comes free with our food. And they don't charge you for this. Well, some places do, but this one this doesn't one doesn't charge you for scrumps. Um, so, yeah, some really, really wonderful pieces of stock. As I've said to you, I've, I've had other bits as well, um, you know, run-of-the-mill working bits that I won't bother putting in because they, they're probably going to go to the boot or they're low money. Guys, we got matching cardigans, look. Look, look at this cardigan. Cardigans! It's because we're cold. It's not cold in here. It is, it's freezing. Don't even, no, don't even go there, right? It's about minus 10, right? It's just in my leg, is blue. I'm in the middle of having electrics and shelving run, guys. Um, give you a little look at that in the... My guys, I'm going to eat my food, right? Well, so my food's going to be cold while I use pork jam. So, as you can see, I've got shelves now. I've got a fridge, a microwave, toaster and kettle. All electrics done. All the way up and around and everything. It's not quite finished, as you can see. Um, they're coming back tomorrow to finish. So I'll actually have a microwave and kettle in the shop, guys. Yay! No chip pan. I don't need a chip pan. I got a fish shop up the road. <laughs> as you use regular. <laughs> so all in all, guys, everything is just taking over as normal. Um, been a quiet week this week. Um, really strange. Still done the takings because I've had a few bigger sales with dealers, but been a quiet week. Um, problem that. Yeah. Hifton's going hunky dory. I, I enjoyed myself going to Abergavenny yesterday. I'm sorry I couldn't film it because of the bloody memory card, but I did enjoy it. And I'm, I may even go again before Christmas because people are selling stuff that I wouldn't normally be able to get. Now, I bought that silver snuff box, uh, as I said, fully engraved London Bridge and Art, Birmingham Hallmarks on it, beautiful condition. I bought that off a dealer for £45. Now, he obviously felt he was having a cracking deal at £45, but I thought when I was asking him, he was going to be £85, £95 on it. I thought I'd sell it then for £125. Um, I absolutely, absolutely adore it. Um, and if you can find a cheaper one, go and buy it. But there won't be many out there. Um, and it'll sit in my shop for the right collector, probably £145. Um, the claret jug, do you know what? I'm going to get my Christopher Dresser books out later and if I can match that shape to a Christopher Dresser shape 
Um, I know I've found them on the internet attributed to Christopher Dresser, but if I can match the shape to shape in the book, then that's going to be up 150 quid as well. So all in all, really some nice little finds, some interesting pieces. You'd have loved that VW uh, money clip. Oh, I'll, mind you, I will put a photo on the end. Yeah. I'll try and remember. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, hope you've enjoyed having a little look at this video. I don't do them that often now. It's two or three a week, unfortunately. But I will try and uh, do some more. And I'm going to do a special Christmas video as well, where I may even sing a little Christmas carol for you. So, Can I just do a dress up? Dressing up for Christmas. Yeah, and a little Christmas carol. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you a warning at the beginning, you can turn the sound off. <laughs> I'm a good singer. Okay guys, so just a little bit of a snippet to splice into the film. Um, I forgot to tell you I sent Sandra up to the post office to get me change and she came back with two bags of 50p's. Every single coin was a Sir Isaac Newton. So needless to say they've gone in my box and I've added a photo of them at the end. Um, the other little thing I wanted to talk to you about was I've had many questions why um, why am I so, so interested in mining and what, people want to know the history of the area I live in. I live in a very um, proud mining valley. Now if you like old old films there's a film on YouTube it's called How Green Was My Valley uh, by Graham Lloyd. Now this film's a 1940s film guys so if you don't like old films don't watch it but if you want to have any idea whatsoever of what it was like to live in a Welsh valley in a mining community watch that film. Um, it's on YouTube so you can watch it free there is the top one there. Give it a go honestly I love the film it's all about the mines and the strikes and what it was like to have life back then uh, around in a mining community. So you might enjoy that film. Give it a go guys, honestly. So, that's about all I wanted to add in. I'll see you soon. Anyway guys, <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then I would appreciate a like and a share. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know you subscribed and I will give you a thumbs up. You'll find me on Facebook. I have a page in the group Antiques Arena. Can you see the comments going? At the moment I'm off eBay guys, um, I've shut my shop down on eBay, um, but you will find me on my own website antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com or you can come to the shop in Mountain Ash, number 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Fox Road, 45 3 Hotel Bravo. Give us a text if you like 07913 246 436, let us know you're coming and I will try and have happy here. So you may even smile. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching guys. Bye for Bye. now. Bye.